relenting faith. Amen. 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 We can't quit, y'all. We can't be quitters. We can only stand in faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Because without God, we have to understand that God has to be the foundation of our lives. Yes. Lord. And without Him, our life is nothing. Amen. There's nothing that is so great out in this world more than our God. Amen. The God Himself is greater than anything you can find out here on earth. Anything in the world. Yes. Yes, Lord. And that's why we have to understand our basis, <coughs> why we serve Him, why we worship God, why we, we believe in Him. Because there's something about God that nothing, there's a void in the heart of man that nothing can fill it but God. Yes. Amen. Only yes. God can fill a void. Yes, Lord. That is in, in our hearts. Yes. In our minds. Yes. Yes. Only Him can quench that void. When you come in contact with the Master, with Jesus Christ, you are fulfilled. There's Amen. no runaway. You know, when you come, you find Jesus, you can't run away from Him. You want more and more every day of Him. It's never enough. Amen? Amen. You gotta crave God. Crave Him. And we're going to go to uh, James chapter 1, <coughs> verse 21. And it's very important that we hear the Word of God. The Word of God is the sword of the Spirit. Amen. We know that, you know. The Word of God is what we need to fight the battles of life. Amen. If we don't have the Word of God, we cannot fight. You know, we will fight with our flesh, which is not the, the you know, is not, is not the uh, what we are supposed to use to fight. Mm -hmm. We are supposed to use the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. 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 That's what we have to use, because if we don't use the sword of the spirit, we will always be defeated. And what it, uh, the sword of the spirit is is the word of God. Amen. And what the word of God does to us is it fights the battles of the mind. He bring every thought to captivity. Yes, Lord. To trust God, to believe in God. That's what the Word of God does. It brings your thought process to believe in a source, in a bigger person, in a bigger uh, being. Amen. It, it makes you believe in Jehovah. That's Amen. what I'm saying. Amen. So it means the devil cannot have so much access. He cannot have an access. If he, if he, if he has an access to your thought process, this Word will captivate that process. Amen. It will captivate that that, that thought that the devil brought in your mind Amen. into captivity. Amen. And you can fight that way. But if you want to rely on your flesh, you fight with the flesh, guess what happens? You always lose. Because the flesh is filthy. The flesh is sinful. <clears throat> so you cannot use sin to fight sin. Amen. You can only use something that is so righteous. And the only righteous thing is the word of God. Because it's Jesus himself, the word. Yes. Amen? Amen? And the word became flesh. That word became flesh. And that's who saved us. The word. Which was Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we're going to read from James chapter 1 verse 21. Therefore lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness mm -hmm. and receive with meekness the implanted <coughs> word. Mm -hmm. The implanted word. Mm -hmm. This word of God has to be implanted in us. Amen. We have Amen. to receive it. It has to, be, it has to be like a seed that is implanted in us. Amen. The word of God is not something you got to joke with. It's not something that just is on you. you it has to be inside of you. Amen. <clears throat> Amen? Amen. You got to be planted. You got to plant it in you. Yeah. So you can overcome the trials and tribulations of this world. If you don't have the word of God, you will not be able to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. You need the word of God. Yes, Lord. Amen? Amen. Verse 22 says, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. We have to be doers of the word. Now, when we receive the implanted word of God,
God. We cannot just hear it only. We have to be doing it. It's an active word. It's a word that is not supposed to be heard only. It has to be done. Amen. Your life cannot be transformed by you only hearing the word of God. Amen. Your life is transformed from darkness to light when you start putting that word in action. Amen. The only way your life can be transformed in Jesus Christ is to execute this word. Is to put this word in action. Amen. Amen? Amen. So we have to understand that. The word of God is not a word that is, is, is supposed to be silent. It has to be walking in your life. And that is where many Christians fall at, or believer, unbeliever, whatever you call yourself, people fall at. Because they hear the word only. They don't put it in action. Amen. They're not doers of the word. Amen. Amen. We have to be doing the word of God. So our lives can be transformed. Amen. Mm. Our life can be transformed. Yes, Lord. Amen? Yes, Lord. Verse 23 says, yes. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. Mm -hmm. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. You all mm -hmm. see what God is saying? Amen. If you only hear this word, it doesn't mean nothing. God compares you like a man looking himself through a mirror. And mm -hmm. once you get out of the mirror, you forget who you are. You mm -hmm. don't even know who you are no more. Amen. Amen? Amen. So it means if you don't put in word in action, it's just a waste. Period. Amen. I mean, you can you can try to justify yourself that, oh, I heard the word, this, this service on Sunday or on Friday was good, but what did you do with the word? Did you just get excited? Because we, <coughs> many Christians get so excited about the word, Amen. but they're not doers of the word. They are just excited Amen. by the Amen. word of God. Amen. And the word of God is not an excitement. It's a, it's a word that has to transform your life. Amen. It's meant to turn you into... From darkness into light. Amen. It brings you out of your cloud of darkness into a cloud of light. That's what the word of God does. Amen. So this word is supposed to change your life. Amen. It's supposed to change us. Amen. 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 Let's go to John chapter 1. Just Amen. hold there in James. Let me show you guys something. John chapter 1, verse 1. Let's do verse 1. Chapter 1, verse 1. John chapter 1, verse 1. Yes, Lord. How the word is very important. That we cannot be hearers only. We have to be doers of the word. Yes. Amen. Amen. And how powerful the word of God is. The word of God is a sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit is what you use to find your battles. Mm -hmm. You can bring every thought into captivity by using the word of God. Yes, Lord. Every thought. Amen? Amen. Amen? So, John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. Amen. And the Word was God. Amen? Yes, Lord. Amen? Amen? Amen. Who's the Word? That's God. You. God started with the Word. The Word was with God. Amen. And the Word was God. Amen. The Word of God is God Himself. If yes. you have the word of God in your life, if you know the word of God, if you do the word of God, then you are actually doing God's will. You are doing what you're supposed to do on earth. Hmm. Amen? Amen. Verse 2 says, He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. Amen? Amen. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. In God there's life. Yes, Lord. If you don't have God in your life, you have no life. 
And the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. Ooh. Yes. The light shines in the darkness. If you are the doer of the word, and not the hearer only, then even in the darkest world that we live in today, you will be that light. You will be that bright light that is shining. Amen? Yes. And right. darkness will not even comprehend it. Amen? Amen. Verse 14. And the word became flesh. You Amen. see that? Amen. Yes. And dwell among us. Mm -hmm. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. The word became flesh. Yes. Yes. The word became Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. The word of God. So if you have this word and you are doing this word, you are actually executing the things of, of Jesus Christ. You're yes. doing him. You're, you're continuously doing Jesus Christ on earth. Yes. Amen. But if you have this word and you're not putting any of it to action, what are you doing? Nothing. Amen. So the word is not just to hear only, it's to do it. Yes. Because the word of God is full of grace and truth. It is the truth and it's full of grace. Amen? Amen. And the word became flesh. It became a man, a human being on earth. And that human being came on earth. He lived a faithful life. Mm -hmm. He did everything that this word of God is. Amen. He did not backslide it. He didn't quit. He did his will on earth. Mm -hmm. And he came to save all of us. The, yes. word. the word came to save all of us. Amen. From darkness into light. Amen? Amen. And that word of God, the same human being killed him, that word. They killed Jesus. And he, the grave could not contain him. Mm -hmm. The grave could not contain Jesus. Guess what happened? He resurrected. Amen. And when he resurrected, he now guess what he did? He gave us gifts. Mm -hmm. And he left the world behind with us. Amen. He says, the more you become acquainted to this world, the more you became you become acquainted to me. The more you entangle yourself in the word of God and be doers of the word, not just hearer only, then the more you become close to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So we have to be doers of the word. Amen. Verse. Uh, let's go to James chapter one, verse twenty-five. <coughs> Amen. We have to be doers of the word of God. Amen. Amen. We have to be doers. We can't be hearers only. You know, many of us, we are hearers. We are hearers. We hear, we hear, we hear, we hear. But what do we do with it? Do we put it in action? Do we become doers of the word? Because we are being tested. God tests us every day with the word of God. He Amen. tests our faith. Amen. To see if we are actually doing the word. If we are putting that word in action. Amen. So that's how our faith is being tested every day, right? Amen. Our faith is being tested daily Amen. to see if we're actually putting the word in action. Amen? Amen. Amen. James chapter 1, verse 25. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continue in it, and it's not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word. Mm -hmm. This one will be blessed in what he does. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Verse 25. People ask, why are they not blessed? And the answer is in the Bible. You're not doing the work. You're not doing the word of God. You're not putting it in action. You're listening to it. You come to church when you want to. And that's it. You just hear it and it's gone. You 
you're not put in action. That's why you're not blessed in what you do. If you put this word in action, believe me, you must be blessed. The yes. blessing is already yours. Amen. It's already yours. Verse 26. If anyone among you thinks he's right in his religions, he's, he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceive his own heart, this one religion is useless. Amen. 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 27. Pure and undefined religion before God and the Father is this to visit orphans and widows in their trouble. And to keep oneself unspotted from the world. Amen. 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 That's why I say the word of God is supposed to be action. Amen. God says if you are preaching or talking about my word and you cannot put it in our action, hmm. that is not religion to him. Amen. That is not religion to him. People want to talk about them being religious, but you have to look at their deeds. Amen. What are they doing? Amen. Because religion is not the, is not it. Just being righteous, showing that you're a righteous person is not it. <coughs> Amen. 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 God says, if you are not taking care of the orphans, the widows, the people in trouble, and you say you're serving me, you know my word. What is the point? Yes. For him, that's pure religion to take care of his people mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. are in trouble. Amen. That are in need. Amen. 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 Verse uh, chapter 2, James chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. My brethren, do not hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. Yes. With partiality. Yes, Lord. For if there should come into your assembly a man with gold rings and a fine apparel, mm -hmm. and there should also come in a uh, in a poor man in filthy clothes, mm. and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and mm. say to him, "You sit here in a good place," mm. and say to the poor man, "You stand there or sit here." at my footstool. Have you not shown partiality among yourself? Yes. And became judges with evil thoughts? Mm. 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 You see, a lot of this going into many, many, many ministries, many, mm. many places where people are being, they show partiality to others. Jesus said, you got to accept everybody. Yes. Amen. You know, you cannot put a certain seat that is for the rich and the turn one for the poor. All of them got to mingle together. Amen. All is one. All of us were the children of God. Amen. There, there shouldn't be partiality in the kingdom of God, but there is. Amen. Amen. There is. If somebody comes in with a fine apparel, good clothes, you know, drive good car, we try to distinguish them from the rest of the people. Amen. And God said that's wrong. Amen. 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 We have to know the truth, y'all. Mm -hmm. We have to know what the word of God says. Yes. You know, people start kind of question and say, you know, because they don't know the truth, they accept things. You don't have to accept <coughs> stuff. Hmm. If you accept things where you don't know the truth, but when you know the truth, you cannot accept anything. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Amen? Amen. You cannot accept anything. I, you know, I see people, you know, sitting somewhere and they're doing things quite opposite from the gospel and they're still sitting in the ministry. I'm like, why are you doing that? Hmm. If you can go and approach him and show them the word and say, we cannot be practicing these things, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's important. You know, or, you know, and, and then accepting it because this thing is being practiced. Mm -hmm. You know, I've experienced this thing before, right here, mm -hmm. as God is saying it. Mm -hmm. This partiality in the kingdom of God. Whew. Verse 5. Listen, my beloved brethren. Has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he promised to those who love him? But you have this 
honor the poor man. Do not the rich oppress you and drag you into the courts? Do they not blaspheme or blaspheme that noble name by which you are called? If you really fulfill the loyal law, law according to the scriptures, you shall not love you sh you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well. Yes. Amen. A amen. Amen. We shall love our neighbor as ourselves. That's the greatest commandment that uh, God said it is. You shall love him and you can do that. love your neighbor as yourself. Hmm. So there should be no partiality in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Everybody amen. has to be treated with love. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody has to be treated with love. Amen. Verse 9. But if you do show, if you show partiality, you commit sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And are convicted by the law as a transgression mm -hmm. or transgression. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. Verse 10. For whoever shall keep the whole law and yet stumble in one point, he is guilty of it. Amen. Yes, Lord. Mm. Amen? Mm. Verse Amen. 11. Amen. For he who said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not murder. Now if you do, do not commit adultery, but you murder, you have become a transgression of the law. Yes. Amen? Mm. So there's no partiality. You know, sin is sin. Yes. Amen. Sin is sin in the kingdom, and that's why we need the word of God Amen. to bring our thoughts into captivity. Because if you don't, if you don't embark yourself in the law of God, you will always find yourself sinning. Hmm. The word of God is the only <laughs> only word that can fight the battles of the man. Mm -hmm. Because those thoughts of being even a thief and and being an adulterer, or or killing or stealing or destroying, all of it starts with a mindset. Mm -hmm. It starts in your mind. Amen? Amen? And if you don't have the word of God in your mindset to captivate those thoughts and say, stop, hmm. you will going to do it. What stops you from doing what, you do, you know, what you're doing? Hmm. It's only word. The only thing that stops any believer from doing what they don't want to do is the word of God. Yes. Amen? 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 So we got to be very, very careful. Yes. Not to fall into the same things that others. Amen. Amen. Not to just be the hearers of the word, but the doers of the word. Amen. We gotta Amen. do this. We gotta put in action. Amen. We have to put in action. Amen. 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 So today, the word is put the word of God in action. Yes, Lord. Captivate those thoughts. With the word of God. Captivate what? The, the thoughts. Amen. The word of God. Yes. Lord. Bring into subjection. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. You can't bring it with the flesh. Mm -hmm. You can only bring it through Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. And stay in faith. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't give up. The battle is not your one. The battle is the Lord's. Amen. Amen. Only the Lord can defeat you. The devil can. Amen? Amen. 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 And the Lord is with us. If the Lord is with us, who can be against Amen. us? Amen. Praise Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. Amen. Praise Lord. Amen. The Praise Lord the Lord is in this ministry because the truth is being spoken. Yes, Lord. And the truth sometimes is hard. People don't want to hear the truth. They want excitement. And it's not about excitement. It's because it's transforming lives from darkness into what? Light. That's what this ministry is all about. Amen. 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 So praise God. And uh, I just want to call our Reverend up um, for the word. Amen. Reverend. Praise God. The word of God for today.